the next agent story that I'll be checking out is Rina's agent story. So I don't know how long this uh, agent story is going to take, but I'm gonna check this one out. Let's see the fact that I do have um, Rina as one of my favorite S-Rank characters. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. On this leisurely morning, I spent some time with Belle in my room playing a stage we had been stuck on for a long time. Come on, just a little more. Hey, there's a trophy up there. Don't worry, I see it. Perfect clear. We got the trophy. I knew we could do it. The boss is next, so let's take a break first. By the way, I need to go out for a bit after this level. You go. I was store. Right, but Rina messaged me and said that she might bring a special customer to the store. I'm not back by then. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Thanks, then I'll leave it to you. Just call me if there's an emergency. Shortly after, Belle leaves the Vader store, so you play a few more games on the sofa. That's when you heard hear a loud noise coming from downstairs. It could be Rina and her special guest. You should go downstairs and take a look. Good afternoon, dear guy. Oh, no! I suppose I should call you Oh Great Manager here. So, is there anything I can do for you? It's not here, Rena. I'll go check the shelves back there. Uh, well, all right. Uh, oh, the shelves have hard edges. Be careful not to bump into them and hurt yourself. Who's the old lady? Is she looking for something? Oh, my apologies. I forgot to introduce you. That's my client, Granny Laisha. I'm helping her look for a special sort of sweet cake. Sweet cake? So, some kind of dessert? I don't believe so. It's not just a sweet cake. According to Granny, it's a sweet cake with a silly smile. Huh? Rina, the silly sweet cake isn't on the shelves either. I'll check under the counter. Okay, Granny, uh, but please don't disturb the other customers. Uh, she can't quite tell me what this silly sweet cake is, but she really wanted to come to 6th Street to search for it, so I thought I'd try my luck at your store. I just can't find it, Rina. I can't find the silly sweet cake anywhere. Oh, please calm down, Granny. I'm here to help. Okay. Do you have any movies about silly, smiling sweet cakes, manager? We've got a lot of silly comedies, but none about sweet cakes. I can't imagine what that looked like. It's a sweet cake that's this big, all round and chubby. And it's so funny when it giggles. Where did it go? We spent the morning looking in the dessert stores, and none of them had a sweet cake that was this big. Mm, silly sweet cake might refer to something round that looks like it's smiling. Well, we're out of dessert stores, so I'll take her to the toy shops this afternoon. You just reminded me. Round and with a silly smile. That sounds like Mr. Panda at the coffee shop. Ooh, a glimmer of hope. <sighs> I rarely come to 6th Street, so I'm not very familiar with the area. Thank you for your suggestion, manager. Come on, Granny Laisha. Let's head over. Rena, I can't walk anymore. My legs hurt, and my mouth is dry. We have been walking around for hours. Granny, why don't you rest here a while? Mr. Panda isn't far away. I'll go take a picture. I'll show it to Granny, and she can decide if it's the sweet cake she's looking for. You guys wait right here. Thanks for your help. I'll stay here and look after Granny while you're gone. So, take a photo of Miss Panda in front of the coffee shop. Oh, 
Oh, okay. But that's the one. The picture of Mr. Panda's silly smile is taken. I should bring it back to Rina and the old one. Right. Back to the video store. The bottom layer is vegetable and ham sandwiches, the middle layer is fresh out of the oven butter scones, and the top layer is low sugar fruit cake. Wow. For tea, I have prepared rose tea and red tea. Do you take it with milk and sugar, Granny Laisha? Wow. I can't believe they set up a three tier dessert platter. The store has a really posh vibe now. Manager, you're back just in time. Ahem. <clears throat> Please come and enjoy Rena's specialty afternoon tea. Uh, due to the situation at hand, I was unable to make anything myself. So these were all carefully selected from nearby shops while helping Granny look for the sweet cake. That's a relief. Oh, I mean, vegetable and ham sandwiches are balanced and nutritious, so I can have several. <clears throat> Uh, sweet cakes picture right oh right I took a photo mm. of the silly sweet cake is this it granny what do you think granny Laisha does it look familiar nope uh, this isn't it Why am I not surprised? I'm looking for the drooling sweet cake huh I thought you were looking for the silly sweet cake no, it's the drooling one. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm looking for the loud-mouthed sweet cake. The whole corridor can hear it when it cries. I understand. Well, don't worry. I'll help you find whatever kind of sweet cake you're looking for. Uh, manager, can I have a word? I owe you an explanation. Yeah, we need context. First of all, please allow me to express my thanks and apologize for any inconvenience. You see, this lady isn't just any client. She's my evaluator. I participate in the new Eridu Housekeeping Association's assessment each year on behalf of Victoria Housekeeping. This time, my assessment for the best service of the year is to serve Laisha Christie. Yes, Granny Laisha. I had a general idea of what the service would entail as I've participated in previous years, but this time's a little different. Granny Laisha didn't ask for any housekeeping services. She just keeps asking me to help her find sweet cakes. Uh, this test is trickier than I had expected. She might deliberately be giving me a difficult challenge. Uh, but I'll take care of things myself. I wouldn't want to affect your business. It's okay. There's not much going on with the store. I can keep helping Granny. You can think of me as a free guide to 6th Street. Really? Oh, that'd be great. You're an amazing guide, both in and outside the hollows. Then let's cover all corners of 6th Street and capture photos of any suspicious sweet cakes that fit the criteria. Okay. Take photos of various sweet cakes on 6th Street. <sighs> I'm not sure if I will be able to enjoy this one to be real with you guys. This. Does, the pu does this puppy at the newsstand meet the requirement? As soon as you picked up your camera, you got excited and started posing. I guess it would be difficult for anyone to resist the urge to take photos of it. Let's keep this photo then. Even if it's not what Granny Lisha wants, we can't let this puppy enthusiasm go to waste, right? Next. I 
I get what you're saying, but don't you think it's a little good? The manager of this noodle shop seems quite serious. So I think he would get angry if he say he looks like a sweet cake. Hey, what are you saying about sweet cake? I can hear you. We're looking for a drilling sweet cake. I saw someone point a camera at me. Why is you were taking a photo of me, right? Why would you take a photo of me when you're looking for something like that? Don't think you think I... Guys, really... I'm sorry, you don't mean income. Please allow me to... You've come to the right person? How do you know I was cooking up a new menu? I guess there's no point in hiding him now that I've been busted. That's right, I am perfecting Waterfall Soup's first fried sweet cake snack. But I can't quite figure out how to make it special enough. Mouth watering sweet cakes are a great idea. As long as we use the right filling, making mouth watering soft routinous sweet cakes is a piece of a uh, cake. No, no, not enough in and of itself. Let's stuff the filling with pepper so that as you chew the sticky sweet cake, your tongue gets bombarded by the spice, making both the diner and the mouth watering sweet cake drool. I'd love to keep listening, but it seems like it takes quite a lot of time. Better to leave. Next. When they talk to any class separately, it doesn't feel like they are very loud. However, when the three of them talk at the same time, the sound of them always saying e nanu all the time is quite shocking. Well, one for one has changed stores in many places after all. I always get the feeling that the function of the three of them can be integrated into one bangu. Maybe they were divided into three to highlight the features of one for one. Could, can your two bangu be integrated into one? No, my side is to have one bangu on my left and one bangu on my right. You've taken photos of all these weekends and you can double check it that there's nothing missing. Those little roly poly drops, what if it's not limited to a round shape? Oh yeah, the one at the music store might count too. Go over now. Winner comes over as soon as you put down the camera. Is there really anything here that fits the criteria of a sweet cake? It's round and it makes a lot of sound. I. Oh, it's a record! This music store has impeccable taste. The collection is... Ah, this record. Just looking at the cover reminds me of something interesting. Are the songs on this album good? Or does hearing it bring back fond memories? Both. There was an incident during the recording of this album. One of the performers quit temporarily. My job was to save the day and perform in her stead. Ah, <sighs> that was a challenging job. Can you guess which instrument I was in charge of? Given your personality, I'd say... the violin? The electric guitar! <laughs> what? There's no way I'd guess that. Right. We've taken pictures of everything we can think of. Let's go back to Granny Laisha. Her sweet cake keeps changing form, but I don't mind it much. The housekeeping association's assessments were always the same in the past. Either a normal service job or going into a hollow to deal with ethereals. Finding something made up is unexpected, but at least it's creative. <laughs> Let's hope these photos contain the sweet cake Granny wants. Right. Back to the video store. Oh, you're back! Rina and the... Uh, 
Rena's little sidekick. <laughs> yes. I'm not a sidekick, Granny Laisha. I'm the manager here. Just call me Wise. Sorry, Manager Wise. Please allow me to apologize on her behalf. Okay, Granny. We have the pictures. Are any of these the loud sweet cake? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, none of these are the sweet cake. The one I'm looking for... Oh, I remember now! Waves. The sweet cake was floating on white waves up and down. Yes, that's it. It was a white wave sweet cake, just like the one always floating around you, Rena. I'm glad to hear you like my bangboo, but they're not sweet cakes. They're my trusted companions with their own names. For example, this little blonde bangboo with bangs is called Drusilla. Oh, if I hadn't turned on silent mode earlier, it would certainly be making a fuss about how the sweet cake has changed yet again by now. Indeed, why has it changed again? A white wave sweet cake that looks like Drusilla. Master, if I could interrupt. By combining the keywords Laisha Christie and waves, I have found a news article about an incident involving a Miss Metropolitan beauty pageant dropout. That voice just now. It's the smart voice assistant on my phone. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> well, that's a very thoughtful AI assistant. Of course, I understand it's your little secret. Further inquiry would go against Victoria Housekeeping's rules of etiquette. In any case, it's a timely tip. Let me check the news. I should be able to find it on my phone. Miss Metropolitan Dropout. Ah, oh, here we go. And it's actually a news article from 41 years ago. On the night of the highly anticipated finals, top contender Laisha Christie, favored to win, suddenly drops out, conceding her crest of waves. I see. So, the Crest of Waves is a round crystal trophy awarded to the winner. There's also a photo of the dropout attached. If I compare it... <laughs> it's true. I never would have expected the housekeeping evaluator would be the star of such a contest. <sighs> what a mysterious lady. The sweet cake floating up and then down. Oh, it must refer to Granny losing the trophy. If that's the case, it's easy. We simply need to bring her the Crest of Waves trophy. I think you're redefining the term easy there, Rina. Where are we gonna get a 41-year-old trophy? The competition is held every year, even now. I just happened to have participated last year. Huh? Wait, Rina, you participated in Miss Metropolitan? Yes. The competition was divided into many sections, such as singing, acting, painting, cooking. Can you guess which I took part in? All four. Based on my last guess with the instruments, I'll rule out the most common, like singing and acting. I'd assume something unexpected, like painting. The answer is... all of them! <laughs> Actually, that year's competition was in urgent need of a makeup artist, so I stepped in to help. It was quite busy, but still an enjoyable experience. Who could have guessed that? I feel like I've been tricked. Oh, I was just teasing you. Please, don't mind me. But <laughs> because of that, I know the competition organizers, so asking them for a commemorative trophy shouldn't be a problem. Rena, can you find my wave sweet cake? Don't worry, Granny. I'll find it for you. Whatever kind of sweet cake it is. It's getting late. I'll take her home first. You should get some rest too. Thank you again for your help. Hey, is Spell back in the field? Okay, she's back. Is that person who just left our store the granny that Lina mentioned? The thing by your reaction, you must have had a tiring day then. The one that Lina said it was a special guest. 
What a pity I wasn't there and couldn't help out. Have a good rest, Rice. I'm around the next time when Granny comes by. You check out and let me entertain her for a while. So I believe that's the end of the first part of Vina's agent story until your memory fades. Okay. Okay, even part two doesn't have um combat because there's literally nothing over here because here's the thing about other agent stories like let's see Lycan's one for example okay as you can see like Lycan's one right there's a, a it has a description of average enemy level 58 recommended attributes um ice and ether hard difficulty but Rina's one over here there's it's literally a description of the agent story, so it's safe to assume that there's no combat involved. But whether there'll be combat involved in part 3, I'm not really sure. Because I'm going in 1000% blind. But anyhow, let's just let's just keep going with the Rina's agent story. Let's just keep going. saying goodbye to Rina, he returned to the video store. It's not behind the shelves. What is... Granny Leisha? What are you doing here? I'm looking for the sweet cakes. The silly sweet cake isn't behind the shelf. Ah... Oh. I remember you. You can help me find the sweet cakes, right, Drusilla? Oh dear, this is not going to I'm not Drusilla. My name is Wise. Say it with me, Granny. Wise. Uh, never mind. I'll call Rena. I have a feeling that this Granny has memory problems. Are you looking for the silly sweet cake again, Granny? Is this still part of the assessment? Oh, but it's okay. I still have the pictures from yesterday. Here, Granny. Are any of these photos the sweet cakes you're looking for? Uh, Granny? Granny, are you listening? Granny Leisha? <sighs> She's completely focused on the TV. Uh, manager, what's that on the TV in the corner? Is that an ad for a movie? Yeah, it's Invasion Next Gen. <gasps> it's about a hollow appearing in the city, and the ethereals inside. Oh, it's a hollow. There's a hollow. The sweet cakes are in danger. Uh, what's wrong, Granny? That's just a movie. It's not real. Oh, uh, my Drusilla! Granny Nisha grabs Drusilla and rush out the store. If this is still part of the assessment, it seems a little bit excessive. Or perhaps Granny really was affected by the ad. We should go check on her manager. Drusilla has a GPS chip, so don't worry, we won't lose her. This lady is definitely not right in the head. 
where on earth is she trying to go? The only way to find out is to follow her. Yes. I'm not gonna bother correcting her. Head to Luminous Square Metro Station. Rani Leisha is absolutely quiet on the right and thankfully doesn't cause any ruckus before getting off at Luminous Square Station. There she is. Granny seems a little tired, yet never abandons her plans to escape. Touching onto the bamboo, she runs off towards the riverside trail. Yeah, get to the bottom of this. Like, what's the big deal? Enough delaying already. Is she trying to go? The only way to find out is to follow her. What the hell? I can't run anymore. My legs hurt and my mouth is dry. Susie Granny, down, what the hell is wrong Asia? with you? You guys! No need to act so surprised. We've been right behind you since 6th Street and all through Lumina Square. You... Uh, who are you? I don't have any money or anything of value. Why are you chasing me? I don't know you. Huh? Oh, Granny Laisha, are you being serious? I'm Rena, and this is the video store manager, Wise. Uh... Um... No, no idea who you are. Then, yeah, do you still remember the sweet problems. cakes you're looking for? The silly sweet cake, loud sweet cake, and wave sweet cake? Sweet cakes, ah, oh, yes, I remember. I'm looking for my sweet cakes, but I've lost them all. I arranged to look for sweet cakes with someone yesterday. Hmm. Who, who, who was it again? What's going on? Is the Housekeeping Association's assessment process really this complicated? With her reaction to that ad, I'm afraid this is more than just the housekeeping assessment. Have you heard the medical term, cognitive corruption syndrome? Anyone who stays too long in a hollow may develop the disease in their later years, regardless of their ether aptitude. Symptoms include rapid memory decline, cognitive disorder, and repetitive speech. In severe cases, one's memory can regress to that of decades ago, forgetting everything that occurred afterward. You mean she really forgot us? I'm just speculating. But having provided care for elderly individuals with this condition in the past, it's all far too familiar. The constantly changing sweet cakes, not recognizing us. If it's not an intentional act, then it seems like the most likely possibility. Either way, I'll take Granny home first. There are plenty of ways I can confirm my hypothesis. Thank you, Manager. 
you must be tired too. You should go back and rest. Okay. Let me know what happens, Rina. Goodbye, Granny Laisha. Mm -mm. <sighs> Goodbye. I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused to your store these past few days. Please, pass on my apologies to Belle, too. After all that running, you surely got in your daily stuff for the day. Go back to the video store and get some rest. Apologize to me? <laughs> well, you're always the one taking care of things whenever she visits. I haven't even met Granny yet. Oh, you're both here. How is Granny? She lives near Lumina Square, so it didn't take long. But I'm a little worried about her. I checked with the neighbors. She's lived alone for a long time. And she does suffer from cognitive corruption syndrome. Yep. If that's the case... Granny isn't intentionally causing trouble. It's because of her illness. I'm surprised the Housekeeping Association chose her for the assessment. By the way, why didn't Drusilla resist when it got taken by Granny? It's a combat bang boo. It could have easily gotten away from her. Is it because it had been switched to silent mode? Even in silent mode, Drusilla can move on its own. I asked the same thing on the way here, and it gave me an unexpected answer. What? When Granny carried it away, she kept saying, I can do it. I can protect you. That made it mistake Granny for me. Huh? Is that possible? There's a pretty big difference. Could that phrase be some kind of passcode? The Drusilla in front of you is actually designed based on a doll I picked up when I was little. I didn't have many friends at the manor back then. All I had to talk to was the doll I named Drusilla. Father didn't like the doll. He said it was something the servants had used and told me to throw it away. But how could I throw away my only friend? So I hid it in various places, trying hard to prevent my father from finding it. Under the bed, in the wardrobe, under the covers, constantly telling it, I can do it. I can protect you. When I became an agent and decided to use Bang Boo in combat, I handed this doll over to the manufacturer. Surprisingly, during their inspection, they found a tiny recording device inside the doll. <laughs> As expected, it was already filled with the phrase, I can protect you. So, impulsively, I transferred the recording data, along with the name Drusilla, to the Bang Boo. A manor? Servants? So you were actually a wealthy heiress living in a mansion when you were younger, Rina? Oh, now it's not the time for gossip, though. Let's get back to Drusilla. Granny was muttering the same thing when she rushed out of the video store with Drusilla. To call it a passcode is actually fitting. You're saying she mistook Drusilla for one of the sweet cakes and took it out of the store to avoid some kind of danger? Judging from the ad that affected Granny, her sweet cakes were once, or are now, in danger because of a hollow. But just what are these sweet cakes? Uh, we'll struggle to get to the bottom of things if we're unable to figure that out. However, the competition dropout and Crest of Waves trophy were both real at least. And the Wave sweet cake is still an important clue. I'll bring it back with me and talk to Granny. Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. Sorry to keep the two of you. It's fine, really. It's not that late. Thank you. How about I bring some special tea treats I made myself as a token of my appreciation? Uh, there's really no need. Then I best be off. Please do let me know if Granny turns up at the store again. Cognitive Corruption Syndrome. That does explain quite a few things, but also opens up even more mysteries. Leave it all to Rina. Didn't she say she was talking... Taking the Crest of Grace trophy over to Granny Leisha? It was she who said before, wise, that I entertained Granny next time she came. 
yet she was running errands all day once again, even ran around living a square. Anyway, it's a rest. I feel like I put you through a week's work of workouts in one day. Your legs are going to be sore tomorrow. Huh. That's the end of part 2. Okay. Let's come back in part 3. Let's begin the third part of Rina's agent story until your memory fades. What the hell? It's a big thing. <laughs> Gravity today, sorry. And Belle agreed to get up early to line up together with you and do some shopping there. However, it seems like you haven't gotten up early enough. I should have come earlier. I can't believe it sold out while I was still in line. Guess I have to try another mall. By the way, you see Granny Leisha today? No, I haven't. Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Rina is asking. Huh? I'm on the way to the video store. I'll tell you more when I get there. If Granny gets there before I do, please keep her there until I arrive. Thanks. That was a message. Sure, let's go. I'll come back here earlier next time. And so, we rush back to the video store. How are you, manager? Has Granny been to your store lately? No. Has something happened? I obtained the Crest of Waves replica trophy this morning and went to take it over to her. But the place was empty, and her door was ajar. The neighbors say she caused a commotion late last night, banging on doors claiming a hollow was coming, and she was going to White Wave Hospital to save the sweet cakes. <sighs> She's been searching for sweet cakes everywhere for weeks now, so nobody took it seriously, and they convinced her to go back to her room and go to sleep. But by morning, she disappeared. She often goes out early to look for the sweet cakes, but this is the first time she hasn't locked her door, and the first time she's mentioned White Waves Hospital. Oh, it just seems odd. I filed a missing person report to public security, so I'm just waiting to hear from them now. To White Waves Hospital to save the sweet cakes. Gone to White Waves Hospital to save the sweet cakes. That's a new term. Searching for information on White Waves Hospital. White Waves Hospital is a renowned, large-scale, comprehensive medical facility in New Eridu. Earlier records go back 41 years to when it was forced to relocate due to a hollow disaster. Wait, 41 years ago? That's the same year as that competition. With funding from both the government and the public, White Wave Hospital, which has been relocated several times, retained most of its medical resources. Its symbol is a white wave. A white wave? Is it a coincidence? Or have we been wrong from the start? The beauty pageant, the hospital, the wave? There must be a connection between the three. If you'll excuse me, manager, I'm going to contact a friend who works in medicine to investigate. Let me know if you hear anything about Granny, even if she doesn't remember my name. Uh, well, as my current client, I must ask you to forgive her rudeness. I'm her maid, so please allow me to remember your name in her stead. Well then, I'll be going. Please don't let my affairs affect you. You have your own business to run, after all. Rina said she didn't want us going out of our way for her. But I'm still concerned. Yeah, you think so too, boys? Would be great if he could do something more to help her. Master, considering the current scenario, I suggest enabling full never data collection functions. By counting up and comparing the target's courses of action over the past 24 hours, I can quickly analyze its most likely active location. We can do that? What did you say so earlier? Disclaimer. This calculation will connect to a large number of network interfaces and feature 
multiple sets of parallel computing units. Power consumption cannot be kept within the daily fixed range. In other words, it is very energy intensive and I estimate a 55% increase in this month's power bill. I knew it. Understood. Permission granted by Master to waive all liabilities. I have started calculating Granny Lisha's course of action. Calculation complete. That extra 55% sure went fast. Result? The probability of Granny Lisha having entered the hollow is 97.1%. What it lacks in process, it sure makes up for it in usefulness. Uh -huh. Ready. Three kicks that never expire. Of course, Rena is in it. Head made Rena at your service. I'll bring in Alan. Touch my tail. And now. And Lycan. I'm at your disposal. Right. Let's do this. Locate Granny Leisha and escort her out of the hollow. Preparations complete. I'm ready to begin, dear guide. Hmm. I think I'd prefer it if you called me Oh Great Manager. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot base my terms of address on personal preference. Using the correct titles in the right situations is important etiquette at Victoria Housekeeping. Now, let's get back to Granny. Based on our current intel, I'm certain her cognitive corruption syndrome is getting worse. Uh, her memory has already regressed to that day 41 years ago. That day... 41 years ago? Yes. The Miss Metropolitan dropout incident and the White Waves Hospital Hollow disaster both happened on the same day. And Granny Leisha was involved in both. But what does this have to do with Granny's search for sweet cakes? There is a connection. A big one. The sweet cakes are the link between these two events, and have been the source of strife in Granny's heart for 41 years. Uh, it's a long story. I had to contact a lot of people and piece it all together. But we don't have much time, so let's talk on the way. Hey. Granny Leisha from 41 years ago. She'd have been around my age now. She worked as a nurse at the White Waves Hospital back then. She was in charge of taking care of the newborns. Don't just smile at me. Go to sleep already. The more sleep you get, the quicker you'll grow. <laughs> You're drooling. Let me wipe it off. That's quite the set of pipes you've got. Can you keep it down? <laughs> You're going to frighten the other babies. The hospital was short-handed. So Granny Leisha was always busy. Still, she loved her work. Of course, aside from her work, she had other things she wanted to accomplish. Oh dear! Looks like we've got a bit of a situation. 
Let's tackle the issue at hand first. Huh. Looks like we need two people to open this door. Look, there's another button to control the door over there. They can handle pressing the buttons. Leave it to me! Not you! Both of us! I'll leave these two children with you, Proxy. Please bring them with you as you search for a way forward. Temporary access permissions for Drusilla and Anastella received. Action request approved. Initiating override. Me, me, pick me! The operational interface has been switched to Anastella. Lead Anastella to push the button ahead. Great! Now Drusella can get through. I've stepped on the button! You can use the permissions I've granted you to switch between them. We're here! Both of us! I'm here! Drusilla, too! There's another up ahead. There's a huge switch up ahead. Seems like we need two Bangboo to step on it. Leave it to Anastella and me. Go, go, go! Gear coins! I found them! I'm standing on it! It's your turn, Anastella! hard on that switch once they both get through they'll be able to step on the main switch lots of treasure main switch won't budge need Drusilla we're here Gonna step on the main switch! Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Aren't my little Bang Boo amazing? Our guide is pretty amazing too, of course. Now then, let's proceed. Let me continue with Granny's story. When she was young, Granny dreamed of becoming an actress. So she signed up for a beauty contest in her free time. That's right. It was the Miss Metropolitan pageant. Not just her colleagues, but she too was surprised at how far she got. Let's walk and talk. Granny emerged as the dark horse that year. To everyone's surprise, the judges gave her high scores. And just like that, Leisha Christie made it into the finals. Yet, on the day of the finals... Is she coming? I remember in the news. In a corner of the broadcasting room, numerous screens were showing the broadcast of the glamorous stage. But among them, an old TV was airing a piece of breaking news. It was a hollow alert for areas including the White Waves Hospital. And so... On the screens showing that magnificent stage, the rising star, who was about to be crowned Beauty Queen, ran down the red carpet steps without turning back and headed to the place on that old TV screen. Seems we have some uninvited listeners up ahead. Let's pause the story there for now. Get ready to activate combat mode. Travel safe. 
Destiny. Next. Avoid it. Take this. Thanks. I see. You're weak. Get lost. Get back. Slash. Master, we can reach depths of the hollow if we keep going this way. Once you enter, you won't be able to return. Make sure you've done everything you need to do before moving forward. Hold on. There was one more missing though. Is the starting line? Where's the last one? Get over here? Ah, it's yet another strange door. Yeah, and more different mechanisms. That should be where the main switch is. To step on the button again? Step on the button, step on the button! Temporary access permissions for Drusilla and Anastella received. Action request approved. Init oh, I'm standing on it! Stepped on it! One more ahead! Ah, makes sense. Close to our destination now, Rena. Yeah. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Emergency exit should be. Ah, I found it. Don't be scared. I'm coming. I'll protect you all. The hospital had already been enveloped by the hollow. It was pitch black everywhere, 
and things were in chaos, Glacia didn't have time to worry about her tattered pageant gown. She took off her high heels to run and climb barefoot. She kicked away the obstacle that blocked the main door. In a panic, she couldn't remember the names of all the children, relying on her memory. She searched for one swaddled baby after another. Those clothes were all imprinted with the hospital's wave pattern. One baby giggling happily in the hollow. One baby that was drooling. And another that cried at the top of their lungs. They were the wave sweet cakes Granny was searching for. That must have been when she contracted cognitive corruption syndrome. This is the last obstacle. Let's get rid of it in one fell swoop and find Granny. As usual, I'll leave you to take the little ones. This should be a very fun puzzle. Oh. Oh man, really? Oh no 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 Find a way to bring it with us. Signatures detected up ahead. Granny Laisha should be there. Yes, we should hurry up. Huh. These two Bang Boo suddenly seem pretty useful. Thank you for the compliment. We might have to battle Ethereals later, so I'm going to withdraw your access for now. All right. Get ready to activate combat mode. Not here. Oh, here! Oh, good. We found her, and she doesn't look hurt. Just... not in a stable emotional state. I lost all the sweet cakes. The sweet cake with a silly smile. The sweet cake with a loud voice. And the drooling sweet cake. I couldn't protect any of them. Rina, 
Didn't you say all the sweet cakes had been saved back then? Yes, I'm quite certain they were all saved. There's only one explanation. She doesn't even remember them being saved. Oh, her memory brother. has regressed to the night she was at the hospital. So she can only search for her missing sweet cakes. For her, the conclusion no longer exists. Uh, Granny Laisha, do you remember me? I'm Rena, and the new Eridu Housekeeping Association appointed me to help you. Oh, sweet cake! <laughs> it's a sweet cake! He grabs her of Drusilla like she did in the store and holds it tight. Basically, oh, she sees the bamboos as babies. Even if you're all that's left, I'll protect you. Multiple ethereals detected, rapidly approaching this area. There you go. Brina, Granny Laisha, we need to get out of here. Things will get dangerous if we don't hurry. Ethereals are coming, Granny. Come on, we have to go. Don't be scared. I'll protect you. I will. You have to let go, Granny. That isn't your sweet cake. It's a sweet cake. I won't lose another sweet cake. She won't listen. What do we do, Rena? Rena! Name, Laisha Christie. Nurse ID, 2107. Your sweet cakes aren't lost. The silly, smiling sweet cake still loves to smile. She became a maternity nurse. Just like you. The loud sweet cake doesn't talk much over the phone. But he said he'll come see you. Right after his concert finishes. The drooling sweet cake has already become a senior investigator. He might be off fighting ethereals as we speak. You didn't lose them, Granny. They just grew up. Now, it's finally their turn to protect you. Alright, activating combat mode. Please wait there, Granny. We'll be done with things here soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Understood. Wow. <laughs> Ready and waiting. Time to clean the food. <laughs> Move it. By your wheel. Fear comes from more than just the unknown. <laughs> What the? I'll help this time. Take this. I found you. Good ready. Get lost. Travel soon. Thank you for your patience. Job done. Out of danger, and Granny Laisha has calmed down. How are you feeling? Do you recognize me now? You look familiar. I, I think I've seen you before. On TV? It's okay if you don't remember me. But do you still remember looking for the sweet cakes? Sweet cakes? Not a fan of cakes. They're sticky and dry out your mouth. That's the one thing you gotta remember. Do you remember anything that happened the last few days? What you had for breakfast, where you were, and who you spoke to yesterday? Hmm. No, I don't remember. Oof. Oh. Oh, I remember now. I'd lost something for a long time. And a kind soul helped me find it. Oh, what was it I lost? I can't recall. Um, and who was it that helped me? That's Ooh. okay. As long as you found it, the who isn't important. I'll remember all the unimportant details for you. Well now, 
I'd already contacted all the sweet cakes before we went into the hollow. They're on their way to Granny's place, so we'd best be getting back. Damn. Right. Ah, there you are, Miss Rina. I'm your contact from the new Eridu Housekeeping Association. Regarding your call, did you have an update for us? Yes, I've completed the assessment. Shall we discuss the specifics at Granny's house? Ah, uh, about that, Miss Rina. I have to apologize. After double-checking, we realized she wasn't the client for your assessment. Hmm? What do you mean? We got her mixed up with a lady of the same name. Lacia Christie. Actually, this elderly lady came to the association a few times, saying she's looking for her sweet cakes. But staff always got rid of her. But someone got careless that day. They let her in the assessment reception room and then... Well, the rest was a coincidence. Roger, if it what weren't the for hell? carelessness and coincidence, she'd still be out there searching. So things turned out okay. As for the official assessment, could I ask you to file with the association as soon as possible? Later, perhaps. I need to get her home first. There are several people waiting for her. Uh, I'll go with you. Perhaps there is some kind of compensation the housekeeping association can offer. Well then, I'll come see you at the store as soon as I'm finished. Why did I do the leather granny in? Fire in. Sometime later, Rina comes through the video store door. Hello, manager. I appreciate your help these last few days. How is Granny? The bad news is her memory is in severe decline. She doesn't recognize anyone anymore, let alone her sweet cakes. Oof. But the rest is good news. The housekeeping association contacted a suitable nursing home for her, and the sweet cakes all agreed to visit her on different days. She may not remember them, but everyone is looking forward to spending time with her. Perhaps one day she'll remember something. Perhaps one day people will find a cure for cognitive corruption syndrome. That would be nice. Cognitive corruption syndrome. Who knows? I've been in the hollows for so long. Perhaps I have it without even realizing. When I'm old, I might be looking for sweet cakes just like Granny Laisha. <laughs> no. I'll probably be far more stubborn, rebellious, and unwilling to listen than her. Looking for sweet cakes. Sounds like fun. Don't forget to bring me along. It's a promise, then. When that day comes, don't be put off when I turn into Granny Rena. And stick with me until I find my sweet cakes. Here's the thing. Granny Leisha has completely forgotten about us. And even though everything is sorted out now, I still feel as though something's missing. Something important. Right? And not just you. She doesn't even remember Rena's name. Maybe she'll suddenly remember one day. Maybe. I checked out some news on the cognitive corruption syndrome, and there are some promising cases out there. It's not a complete recovery, but there's still a chance of slowly regaining some precious memories. Well, let's not think too much about this for now. I've been running around like a headless chicken and fallen behind on other commissions. I'm going to refocus and see back into our proxy work. And with that wraps up Rina's agent story until your memory fades. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys have enjoyed the video so far, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on this Rina's agent story. Well, 
to be real with you guys, I would rather not deal with this kind of section at all. But it's very heartbreaking to know the fact that this late this lady over here as time uh, as time goes by is suffering from memory loss. And to be honest, I do really want to go to that this kind of situation in real life. Anyway, um, I'll, I'm not sure whether I'll be back for more uh, more Asian story. To be very honest, but if, but anyway, if you want more stuff like this, feel free to hit the subscribe button, and I will definitely drop up drop more. Tell us on team content without a shadow. And as a matter of fact, right, I believe the, the next update for Inquest uh, Tower will be in a, in a few days, which is on the 23rd. So I will definitely will be checking out the the latest Trailblaze mission for Inquest Tower version 2.6 without a shadow without. So we will look at that. In the meantime, um, once again, if you guys want more content like this, uh, to hit the subscribe button and if you guys have joined the, the content so far i do appreciate it for this video my name is aj good one i will see you all next video